do this? Junie, what is this? What do you think? Should we tell him? What do you think? Should we tell him about Walther syndrome? No. It's we should. Well, if you happened upon this video, my guess is you were actually not interested in me talking to my dog, but you were interested in something maybe more related to Wobbler syndrome in dogs or Embark Vet. You are in the right place if you were looking for information on either one of those two things, because what I'd like to do today is combine them, tell you about some really exciting research that is just about to start um, with Embark Vet which is a dog, um, a DNA company that is going to be doing research on Wobbler syndrome in dogs. So in this video, we are going to cover both of those. I am going to give you just a little bit of information about Wobbler syndrome because my friend Junior here has uh, this neurological disease. And so we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and I'm going to tell you about how you might be able to get involved if you're interested in the research trial that they are enrolling dogs for. So um, stick with me. If you are new to my channel, I am Stephanie, AKA Big Dog Mom. This is my one of my Mastiffs, Junior, who has Wobbler Syndrome. And um, you know, this channel is really dedicated to large and giant breed dogs. My goal with all things Big Dog Mom are really to empower and inspire and inform big dog owners to just take better care of their dogs. So if you are interested in any or all of that, um, hit the subscribe button and, and click the little notifications icon so that you're notified of new videos when they come out. Um, but let's get started. I'm going to walk you through the actual test itself. We're going to actually swab Junior and um, I will give you all of the information you need in order to enroll your dog if your dog's been diagnosed with Wobbler syndrome. All right, stick with me. So what I wanted to do very quickly is just kind of give you a little overview of what Wobbler syndrome is in case you happen to be somebody who just got a recent diagnosis with your dog um, of Wobbler syndrome. And um, this is not going to be comprehensive. It's just a really high level overview. But what I will tell you is that I have several blog posts on my blog. I will link them down below or up above um, about Wobbler syndrome that go in much more depth about you know, the current research and all of that stuff. Um, and about the disease specifically and about the junior specific diagnosis. So I have all of that on my blog. So, but what I wanted to do today is really just give you sort of what Wobbler syndrome is in case you have a dog that was recently diagnosed. So Wobbler syndrome is a neurological disease in dogs. It is very common in, in several breeds. Mastiffs are one breed where it is um, fairly common. It's very common in Great Danes and Doberman Pinchers as well. Doberman pinchers typically suffer from what's called disc-associated disc wobbler syndrome. And mastiffs and Great Danes are generally diagnosed younger and typically suffer from a little different type of wobbler syndrome, which affects their cervical vertebrae and where the bone, and so in Junior's case, what he has is where the bones kind of grow too fast and they impinge on the spinal cord. So if you imagine the vertebrae right here, they grow too fast, there's too much bone growing too fast and it impinges on the spinal cord. And what that does is it can cause pain in, in the dog, severe pain in Junior's case, and, um, and uh, neurological deficits typically in the rear. And, um, and that generally shows up where you know, the name Wobbler syndrome comes from is a wobbly gait. And so where the spinal cord is compressed, it causes that neurological um, deficit and the lack of motor function in the dog's rear and so the dogs will walk with a little wobbly gait. The front legs typically are a little more choppy so it's a pretty classic gait for a dog with wobbler syndrome but in Junior's case he really his rear gait looks okay his main issue is um, uh, pain in his neck and so but that is generally that is really what wobbler syndrome is. The 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 point of this video, though, is to really talk about why, why is research so important and why is participating in this specific trial with Embark Vet so important. And 
Really, we don't know what causes Wobbler syndrome. The best guess by most people is that it is, it is genetic. There's a genetic component. I think that my experience in knowing what I know about um, junior and, and mastiffs as a breed is that there, it does seem to be a genetic component, and that is really where the direction in research is going. And Embark Vet is really just doing an amazing job at the forefront and doing some groundbreaking new research to help try to find a DNA test to identify dogs who carry the genes that um, could potentially either cause a dog to be affected or a carrier of the disease. So, um, so really that's, that's my purpose in, in kind of talking about this subject today. I'm not sponsored in any way by Embark Vet um, or Cornell, they're working with Cornell to do the research. Um, not sponsored in any way. This junior is now enrolled in the trial, and I'll give you some information about how you can get your dog enrolled if you have a formal diagnosis of Wobbler syndrome. But, um, but yeah, it's not sponsored in any way. I just really want more dogs included in the trial so we can get answers. As an owner of a dog with Wobbler syndrome, it can be devastating, and every day is a journey. So I've talked a lot about that. Um, again, the links are in the, the description down below. Um, and the directions to how you can get your dog enrolled are also on the blog. It's really difficult for me to, to give you that information in a video format. I am going to show you the test and how to perform, how to swab, the, we're going to swab Junior and get his test ready to be shipped off to Embark Vet. Um, but the actual enrolling of your dog, there are really two criteria. So number one, the dog has to be a purebred dog. So unfortunately, there's they're not working with mixed breeds at this point. So if you have a purebred dog that has a diagnosis, and that's the second criteria, they have to have a formal diagnosis of Wobbler syndrome. If you hear something, it is a freight train right here. He is snoring so loud. You're very loud. Um, so you have to have a formal diagnosis of Wobbler syndrome. I don't know if, um, if it has to be an MRI that diagnoses your dog. So whether they would accept a dog that just has a veterinary diagnosis of Wobbler syndrome. Junior had an MRI, and that is the formal way to diagnose Wobbler syndrome. So what I don't want to do is discount anybody else. If, you know, if you have a diagnosis, I would still send, go to my blog, bigdogmom.com, link down below, um, and get fill out the spreadsheet, submit your information, and try to be enrolled, because I think there's... It's better to have more dogs than, than not. So um, I would rather you err on the side of um, submitting your information and applying to be enrolled. So, um, but let's move on. We're gonna talk about Embark Vet and then we're gonna go ahead and swab Junior and then we'll talk a little bit, a little bit more about um, how you can participate. So let's talk about the Embark Vet DNA test because this is really kind of the first, well, the second step. So once you get your dog enrolled, and my hope is that um, you'll go to those links down below and, um, and, and go through that process. But once your dog is enrolled, like Junior is enrolled, Embark Vet sent me this dog DNA test, which is complimentary um, and kind of the first step to in entering your dog into that trial. So the trial, as I said before, is really geared to, toward finding a, a DNA test. So it's a little separate entity than the normal um, every day if you order an Embark Vet dog DNA test. Um, these are kind of two separate things. So I wanted to just share really quick, so what were some of those other reasons that you might order a, an Embark Vet dog DNA test? So the first reason is, and I've been a huge proponent of, of dog, genetic health testing or health testing for dogs. So before you breed a dog, a purebred dog, um, I believe that the sire and the dam should be health tested before you would ever breed them. So this is one company that you can do health testing through. The, there are many others, but that is one of the things that you can do with Embark Vet. So they actually screen for over 170 different genetic health conditions. They can also test, um, there's over 250 breeds that are recognized as well. So if you have you know, a purebred dog, chances are they are gonna recognize your dog's breed. And then the last thing that it does, and for all of my mixed breed dog lovers out there, um, they can help you identify the, the ancestry of your mixed breed dog. Um, I wish I could just give a quick example. So Labradoodle is not a great example but um, because you know the, the parents. But if you have a mixed breed dog that you don't know who the ancestors are, the Embark Vet Dog DNA Test can help you identify those, which is super interesting and kind of a fun little thing. In the Big Dog Mom community, we often will have 
um, people post a picture of their, if they have a mixed breed dog, and we'll all kind of try to guess. It's really super fun, but these tests can help you identify what those breeds are. So super fun, um, but one of the other advantages to the test. Again, our purpose today is to talk about the research trial with Embark Vet in identifying a DNA test for Wobbler syndrome. But um, I wanted to show you really briefly kind of what the test is. Um, basically, the first step in, um, in going through before you would swap the dog, which we're going to do, you, you basically have to go online. So this is mine is kind of opened and it's sort of, <laughs> it's sort of, um, it's not exactly the way it'll look for you. But the first step is basically to activate your dog's account. When you get this box, you're going to have your own special number that Embark Vet has, um, has given to you. And so what you want to do is activate your dog's account on Embark Vet. And it's super simple. It takes all of maybe a minute or two if you have access to a computer. Um, super simple. And hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. But you just basically go on, say your dog's breed and date of birth if you know it. Um, just a couple of basic pieces of information. But you're going to enter the code that they give you. And that basically links your dog to the Embark Vet test, and then ultimately your results when you send in the swab. And then we, um, the second step is to basically swab the dog, which we are going to do right now. So here are the directions for this is the swab. So this is step two. And it says the, the biggest um, caution is that you want to make sure that your dog hasn't eaten in the last 30 minutes before you do this test. And so Junior ate this morning, and so we are good to go for him. And so then here, the directions say, swab the lower cheek pouches for 30 to 60 seconds to fully soak the sponge. And so it's a typical, um, so I'm gonna open this. So what you wanna do is just make sure that you aren't touching <laughs> the swab. You really wanna keep it clean. The only thing it should really be touching is your dog's, the inner cheek pouches of your dog's mouth. Um, and then we're going to insert the swab into the tube that it came in and then shake it a few times. And so that's basically it. And then I actually have a treat to follow the swab. <laughs> so hopefully this will work because we only have one shot. So here it goes. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it, Junior. All right. So let's do this. So thankfully, Junior has very big inner cheek pouches, lower cheek pouches. So that would be this. So we gotta do this all the way back here. So let's, I don't wanna get the outside of his mouth, but let's see if I can do this, super simple. I'm gonna do it closest to me. And so I'm just kind of sticking this in here. I'll do it on the other side. So remember it said 30 to 60 seconds. We're gonna do it on this side. <laughs> hey, June. Is that smooth? Does that taste like something? So I'm just kind of rubbing it in here. <laughs> Let's just do it a little bit longer. Come on, June. Here, you know what? Oh, your head. And we'll do it on this side. Let's do it this way. Come on, your head. Okay. We just want, <laughs> he's drooling a lot, so <laughs> I think it's probably sufficiently saturated because remember that the goal is to just make sure that that sponge is soaked. There we go. I think we are well soaked there, my friend. And now, so I'm just going to let that, I'm going to give him a little treat for being such a good boy. Okay, so now it says insert the swab into the tube with the tip facing down. So I'm going to try to be very careful with slobber on my hands. Wow, you were slobbery, Junie. Okay, so that just spins right off, and we're going to insert it in there into this purple fluid, and then it says to shake this 10 times. So close the cap and shake 10 times. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's probably more than 10, but just give it a little shake. And then, and then it says reward your dog on a job well done. You are a good boy, Junior. Okay, so then what they give you is this little bag to put your tube in. So we're going to put our bag in the tube. Junior, are you a big slobbery mess right now? So we're going to put our bag 
get that all ready to go. And then they send you a package to send it in, postage paid. So we will get this off in the mail. And then okay, so now that we have swapped Junior and I am ready to go ahead and walk this out to the mailbox, um, I just really wanted to leave you with a couple of closing thoughts. And that really is, you know, I mentioned before, it is incumbent upon all of us as big dog owners and as you know, lovers of purebred dogs to preserve these beautiful breeds by you know, taking ownership and responsibility for um, helping identify and find cures for things that, that ail them, right? So to find answers for a disease that is progressive and really un uncurable at this point, and, and we really don't even know what causes it. So I feel like for those of us that are owners of dogs that are affected with Wobbler syndrome, it's really upon us to, um, to help support research and to, to fund researchers that are trying to find answers. And those answers are ultimately going to help our dogs, um, to help us, and I'm not a breeder, but to help breeders make better decisions before they breed dogs that are affected or that are carriers of you know, this disease or others. So I'm going to walk this out to the mailbox and be super proud to do so. Um, I hope that you'll join me. I really do. Um, the links to the blog post where the spreadsheet is located that you can get your dog enrolled and all of the directions that you're going to need um, are there. So please, please, please go there right now. Click those links and, and get your dog enrolled. If you have a formal diagnosis of Wobbler syndrome in a purebred dog, this is for you and I would hope that you would take action today. And if you like this video, you know, they're not always this sort of, you know, heavy topics, but um, if you have a, a large or giant breed dog and you find this information helpful, I would ask that you would subscribe and hit the notifications icon and stick around. Leave a comment down below and let me know. If you have a dog with Wobbler syndrome, what has your experience been like? Um, I would love to hear from you and, and to just start that conversation. And if there's ever anything that I can do to help you and your big dog, um, I am I'm always here. So have a wonderful day. Click those links down below, subscribe, stick around, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. There, perfect. Is that good? Beautiful. Sit down, Jim. Sit down, Jim. To join me for this video? Would you? You'd like to join me? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have to say? What do you think? Should we tell him about Walter syndrome? What do you think? Yeah. What about that little bit? Should we tell him about that too? <laughs> okay. It's a Wobbler syndrome. Do I smell? <laughs> um. Am I on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I on? Do you see Junior in the frame? I see his bottom. You see him now? Oh, okay. I see him. Okay. Okay, perfect. Ready? Go. I, we're, we've, oh. we've been going, Mama. Did you slime on me? <laughs> well done. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? Are we going to do this? 